The locker contains a brother's uniform that will fit you. Take the uniform. Oh. Ah! And I'm back. Oh, yeah, that, 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 that letter really gets to me. For, 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 for. Whoa! I don't know. What's that? I was just going to say, yeah, referring to yourself as an ex-son. It's pretty pretty harsh. Yeah. Well, like I said, like, as far as he can tell, they're just ignoring all his letters, and he's got these cult, you know, propagandists, you know, you know, working, you know, working on his mind, convincing him, no, they don't care about you. Yeah. It's very, you know, insidious and disturbing, but there are real cults that do shit like that. Yeah. Let's see here. Box routing slip. Transfer for sale in thrift shops. That's interesting. Reason for transfer. Shane could not accept the truth and will no longer be needing these things. He has been moved downstairs. Huh. Hmm. Curious. Open the box. The box contains clothes and personal items, including a photo of Cherry Bomb. Oh no. Digging deeper, you confirm that they are the belongings of Brother Shane. Remember what she said? That her ex... Remember, remember when we first met her, her ex-boyfriend was there haranguing her about the Brotherhood? Yeah. Apparently things have... Uh. Things have got, not gone well for him here. He's been moved yeah. down... Moved downstairs, whatever that means. Doesn't sound good. Hmm. Here we are. Let's see if anything in this locker. Locker contains a sister's uniform that would not fit you. Okay. Okay. Open this door. Oh! Okay, yeah, we're in the kitchen. You see on the other side there is the cafeteria. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's talk to the cook. Yes, brother, what can I do for you? I'm new here, so tell me about your kitchen. Most important thing is don't touch anything! Especially the damn alley door. Especially the damn alley door, or the whole facility goes into lockdown mode. Interesting. Where does the door of the grate go to? It opens the alley out. It opens the alley to the alley outside. Do not open that door, or the whole damn facility goes into lockdown mode. Where do the arch doors go? One goes to the cafeteria, and the other goes to the home areas and the heavily guarded door to the inner sanctum. Sister Sally at the front desk was asking for you. What does she want now? Probably to tell you that you were full of shit. <laughs> the the cold storage box is labeled live specimen. Keep refrigerated. Yeah. The broken vending machine seems like it could be moved. Try try to push the vending machine. I don't, if I have strength five, okay, I probably can't. If I had strength five, I guess I could. But let's see what happens if I fail. Nah, it just it needs lubricant in order to move. Huh. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Let's lube up. The fridge the fridge contains mostly things that are either brown or green, with the primary difference seeming to be age. That, that's nice. An industrial sized food food processor that can make food for an army of babies. <laughs> that's kind of an that's kind of an odd that's an odd metaphor. Let's enrage the an cook army by of babies. <laughs> Pamela's message which reads, Do not open exterior door without express permission. Let's walk away. Let's look we'll look, look around quietly a little, a little first before we, you know, the whole, you know, lockdown thing sets in. Before we do it, the thing that he's begged us not to do. Yeah. That was a she, Nick. Oh, yes. I, I know it's it's not always easiest to tell with trolls, but they're kind of sensitive about it, so. <laughs> Sister Nancy. Have we spoken to Sister Nancy? <laughs> oh, welcome to the Universal Brotherhood Counseling Center. What's your name? Your choice is... I don't do names with people I don't know. I'm Flandry, and you? I'm a Flandry, and you? I'm Sister Nancy. Tell me something about yourself so that I can pair you with the right counselor. I've lived in the shadows, so give me someone who understands the life of a runner. I prefer well-thought-out, rigorous conversations, like those I treasured while at university. I'd like to... Talk to Jessica Watts. Can you direct her to me? 
They probably won't just send me right to her. I've lived in the shadows. I know the perfect brother to speak with. He has a similar background and taught shadow running. You two would get along fabulously, but he isn't in today and the rest of my counselors are currently booked. Could you come back tomorrow? Huh. Okay. I've done bad things. Your past is irrelevant. It's your future that counts. This guy's getting counseled. You can be more than human. I already paid my surgeon to be so. <laughs> All right. All right, I guess we might as well bring the crew in. I don't remember what the purpose of setting a fire in the kitchen is. I mean, getting a fire in the cafeteria is, exactly. Should we try it? Yeah, why not? Oh, actually, oh, but first, with that key card has opened up uh, some new areas to us. Let's... Before setting fire to this place, uh, it's a storage room, but well, maybe there's some goodies. Crate's label reads, liquefied cane sugar, one gallon cans, 24 count. You see lots of these strewn around on the shelves. Hmm. A box full of industrial toilet cleaner. The large tub is labeled cooking lard. The lid is extremely greasy. Take the lard. Lard doesn't fit in a pocket, so you're going to have to carry it around. Mission item added. Tub of lard. <laughs> oh, but remember we needed lubricant for something? Oh, yeah. The shipping pallet has six boxes with chloroform bottles in them. <laughs> Wow. The chloroform could be used to knock someone out if you get them alone. That is so creepy. Why do they why do they have chloroform? <laughs> it can be used to knock someone out if you get them alone. <laughs> oh, ooh, here's some stuff. The locker door is ajar. Search the locker. The locker the locker has a well worn uniform that would fit well worn uniform that would fit a dwarf. And the uniform's pocket is a key card. With a key card. Key card is a big Universal Brotherhood logo and the name Edward Sharpell, janitor. Take the uniform. Hmm. The uniform is too small for you. Okay, I guess maybe like if you're playing like a dwarf or a troll, you can't wear the standard uniform, so you gotta get it in here. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Last my first playthrough this I was an elf, so I could just use the regular one. The the door to the locker has been ripped off. Search the locker. Okay, yeah, check out, see that, they've got the troll and orc size uniforms. No. Janitor, janitor uniforms. That doesn't seem very equal. What's that? To have the medic humans be doing the uh, janitorial services. That, 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 is, that, is, that is interesting, isn't it? That the, uh, I, that is interesting that, you know, they talked about, uh, you know, they, they, they seem to, they talk about being very egalitarian, but it's like the, uh, yeah, the the janitor was a troll or an orc, and the uh, and the, the you know the the fry cook was a troll, whereas yeah. pretty much whereas pretty much all the brothers and sisters seem to be human or elves. Right. Keep, good eye. And and as we've seen before, like racial or meta racial tension is very much an issue in the world of Shadowrun. Right. The locker hmm. room has tape over the latch to prevent it from locking. Search the locker. Contains neatly clipped articles and a uniform that will fit a human or an elf. Read the articles. The articles are about a variety of missing persons cases, in which the missing persons had be person had become a member of the Universal Brotherhood. In the articles, a spokesperson for the Brotherhood says that these people are not missing. They have cut ties to the family they have cut ties to the families who abuse them as children. But yeah, excellent. Uh, good eye, yeah, good eye, good eye for detail there. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, the all the, the menial jobs are pretty much all are all the the unattractive species of metahuman, basically. Right. Oh, we could we could lube it up, then push them in. Reveal a secret door. Ooh. You must let your team in from the alley before attempting to open the secret door. Okay. All right. I'm not sure what the purpose is, but let's start a fire. <laughs> Got the kerosene. Kerosene fires are dangerous as hell, by the way. Do not do this at home. <laughs> not that you should be putting flammable materials of any sort on the stove, but... Put the can of kerosene on the stove. Place the kerosene and coat the can on the stove and turn up the heat. Oh. And let's skedaddle. Man. Not sure what that accomplished. Maybe we have to tell some. Oh, we probably then we have to tell someone, hey, there's a fire, and they'll be distracted by it. <laughs> but let's just open this door for now. Oh, we open the. Uh, let's try the console. You can apologize to the cook later. Open the door and let your team in. Lead the way. There's a little alley outside. There's nothing there though. Hmm. All right. Let's roll. Now, maybe now we can have a look at that secret door? Oh, well, we should now. The door is locked. Decking, one. Try hacking the door. Your decking skill isn't high enough to hack the door, but you learn that it needs a special key card from a brotherhood, motherhood, or... Brotherhood, mother, or father. It isn't high enough to hack the door. I have higher decking than one. Don't I? Maybe you were just doing an assessment. Yeah, okay, yeah, the, yeah, the, you get the the, 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 yeah, the level one test is just to know about the, yeah, that makes sense. You need a higher skill test to actually, well, this door is locked now, I guess that, yeah, locked down. Hmm. Higher level key card. The, wasn't, remember that lady who was, uh, promoted to, uh, promoted to mother, no, there's nothing else in there. Well, maybe we can chloroform someone. <laughs> when in doubt, go to the chloroform. Oh, this door must have locked. Oh, okay, uh, maybe we should... Uh, I guess we may have... Maybe... Ah, oh, damn, yeah, we're locked out of the front area now. Ah, oh, well. Hmm. Unless... So, well, left your upgraded key card in your locker. So, is it in here? Hmm. Attempt to pick the lock. Ah, you find an inner sanctum key card. All right. Now we can find out what that what's hiding in the kitchen. Uh, all all the cookies will be ours now, Nick. <laughs> but is there enough milk? I don't know. Wait, it says I need a special key card from... I, I have the special key card from my mother or father. Do you? I just took it from... Yeah, I just took it from the... Uh, or maybe from you locker. go to the menu and use it? No, no. If, if it's the, the way quest items work is if you... Um, if you have it, it'll offer you the chance to use it in the right spot. Maybe it's still another type of key card? I don't know. Well, we can worry about that later. If... Or or not at all. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, Hell 9000 sees us. No. 